Hello Scorpios, this is your reading for the 8th through the 9th. This is for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. <clears throat> We're going to pull two Romance Angels cards for you guys to start your reading out. See what messages the angels have for you guys, okay? Let's see, my Scorpios. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Very significant message there for some of you, okay? Let's see what else we have for Scorpios today. Children. Hmm. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe one of you have children, you have a blended family, or you have children together. For some of you, you've just known um, this person for a very long time, I feel. You know, many lifetimes possibly here, okay? And then under the bottom of this deck, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, you know, if you guys are separated right now, then, you know, just just try to think that, think, think about the fact that you guys probably both have lessons that you are needing to learn and probably needing to do so within um, your own separate corners here. Let's see what's going on for you guys today. Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is all about uh, taking somebody else's point of view um, into your own perspective. You know, just kind of recognizing somebody else's feelings as being valid as well as your own. You know, you don't have to necessarily go through the same things that someone else is going through to kind of understand or empathize with them you know, for what they're actually going through. And I think this is you guys right now kind of realizing that, okay, with that Three of Pentacles being there, compromising, um, working together with people, even if you feel like this person involves you in a three-party relationship, okay, or somebody else is interfering, like maybe, you know, children, older children, family members even. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Yes, definitely taking on... Um, responsibility just for your own actions I feel a lot of you guys are doing willing to you know take a look at yourself and kind of evaluate what it is that you have going on what they have going on just people in general I feel like most of you are really just trying to take responsibility for yourselves and um, you know the things that you do okay and not allowing not allowing anyone else's issues or um, what they're going through to influence the way that you are. A lot of you are learning this, realizing this. A lot of you have children, I feel, that you're focused on right now. Maybe you have children that are currently in college, studying, learning, getting their degree, um, graduating from high school, even graduating from kindergarten. I mean, just children in general, okay, that you're lending your um, attention to right now. Let's see. Three of Wands. Some of you guys are attending um, graduations or preparing to attend graduations coming up here, I feel, in May. June, in the next few weeks, three weeks, maybe some of you guys are actually, you know, learning a trade or, you know, going to vocational school, in college, you know, just studying, learning, cosmetology, um, carpentry, welding, you know, just preparing yourself for, you know, a full life is what I'm getting here. Extending your knowledge. A lot of you have known each other since college, okay? Um, I may be speaking to some of you who are, who are in your, you know, your 40s, <laughs> 30s, and you've known this person for a long time here, okay? Since high school. I feel like there's definitely somebody that probably wants to make an apology to you, or you guys are wanting to make an apology to someone, some of you feel like you deserve an apology and you're waiting on this person to come back. You're feeling like they will. Feeling like you've given everything that you p could possibly give to this situation. You gave them all the love, comfort, um, support that they needed. You feel like you were there for them. 
a lot of you feel like you're willing to bear the burden of whatever is necessary to be with this person to give this person what you feel like maybe you guys didn't give them before you you see growth abundance um you see everything happiness with this person okay definitely a new beginning is what you see I feel, I feel like a lot of you guys have just kind of realized that this person means more to you than what you originally felt. And there's a lot that you have become awakened to. I feel strongly that a lot of you probably want to make an apology. Either you want to make an apology or you guys are expecting um, an apology from someone okay that you've known for a long time past life relationship this is your soulmate i'm definitely feeling that energy right here if it's not an apology that you guys want to offer this person i feel like there is something that you definitely want to say to this person but you feel like this person is not maybe not going to accept your apology or not hear you out for whatever it is that you want to say you feel like they're dating even here I'm getting to that this person um, may have come across you as a little controlling when you guys were together but now I think you're looking at them in a different light I feel like before they kind of reminded you of your mother they were very mothering I'll put it that way maybe trying to tell you what to do or you felt like they were trying to tell you what to do when all they were really trying to do is tell you what it was that they needed so i don't really think you took it that way but i think there's a lot that you are realizing now in this um, connection with this person for sure you want to address it you want to address it i think this person you feel is is <laughs> They may be cold to you. They may not have the same emotions that they had before. They may not take you back. They may be blocking you. They may not want to talk to you. And I'm getting all these, these things from you guys right now. That you made a mistake. That they have made mistakes too. But I'm getting from you guys that there's something that you want to... You want to rebuild whatever it was that fell apart between you guys. Or they want to rebuild something with you. But I'm getting strongly this is on Scorpio's end. Maybe Libra. You guys are dealing with or you have, you're on the cusp. Scorpio, Libra energy. We have Aries here, Cancers here. I feel strong Aries, Libra type um, energy here. Maybe Taurus. Let's see what's influencing you guys. The strength. And the four of cups. I feel as though before you guys probably either you felt like you didn't show this person enough love and affection, emotion or whatever before. And you're wanting, you're wanting to kind of take that back. You can't take it back, but I think you want to fix it. Um, you want to make something right here. But I think you're also afraid that this go around, that this person's going to do the same thing to you. That they're not going to accept your love. They're going to take it for granted. As you feel like you may have taken theirs for granted before. What I'm getting from this. Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. Hmm sadness missed opportunity missed opportunity both of these are fours very stable energy here i feel like this is all up to you guys this is this is up to you and i feel like you guys are the emperor in this in this story in this situation um right now you're kind of closed off you're, you're protecting yourself because you don't want to be hurt and i feel like that's what you you are doing right now but you are hurt you're hurt you're feeling like this is a missed opportunity that this cannot happen 
that this is over with, that it's done. You don't want it to be done. I think you want you want to try to, to fix something in this situation, rekindle something here, okay? That's what I'm getting for you guys, okay? So my Scorpio friends, this is what I have for you. And um, I will be speaking with you guys soon, okay? Capricorn is also here. Leo's here. All right, guys.